Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 10 of Junji Ito Collection or Ito Junji Collection. That first story was disgusting, and I literally at one point covered my eyes because, and only reading the subtitles because it was so gross. So yeah, with this first story, we have a little family, a dad, a son, and a daughter, and they live in this very oily house. And it's so much oil that it covers the beds, all their clothes, no matter how much they try to wash them, not working. And I'm just like... That's weird. And then it gets weirder. The older brother drinks oil like he enjoys it. Ha! <laughs> yeah, and the, and the daughter, in the meantime, she's kind of the protagonist of the story, and uh, she's kind of like, yeah, this is weird. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so as the story progresses, though, um, it gets weirder. As the brother gets pimples on his face, so much so, they're... Uh, they're oozing everywhere, and he gets bullied for it, and look, there's a point where he, like, squishes them all, and look, that was the part where I had to close my eye. I did not want to look at that. I was like, I'm just gonna do this and read the subtitles, because, oh, that was, it was so gross. Oh, mm, it, like, made me feel really weird. I'm like, no, that's disgusting. Why? And then the dad ended up killing him, and most likely chopping him up and putting him to whatever dishes he serves at their little restaurant thing there. Yeah, see, the dad's the cause here of all this. I don't know how the oil's a thing, but he's the one basically forcing the kids to uh, drink the oil. Well, he didn't force the brother, but he had to force the daughter, and then he chops them up, kills them, serves them in his dishes. Except the daughter kind of refused, and then he, like, is so oily as well, so he chopped off his own foot, part of his leg, too, to put into his dishes. Wow, and then what came out of him? oil instead of blood and I'm just like yeah I would not want to live there I would have run away a long time ago <laughs> um cuz wow that's not no 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 that look that story was gross disgusting why <laughs> so with the other one though we have basically the river of the dead as <laughs> this girl named Kana is going to visit her grandmother and on the way she runs into a dead guy, and she like goes, she's like, Grandma, what's going on? Who are the ghosts outside? And she's like, oh, they're the ghosts of the villagers who have passed and everything, and uh, I'm gonna die soon, too. Please don't float me down the river, because every time someone's floated down that river for their funerals, they hit the wall, and then they sink to the bottom, and I'm just like, just bury your dead in the ground, but hey, it's your tradition, so whatever. And so every person that's floated down that river is now dead, waiting for Osode-chan to die, and, um, I don't get this, though. So, Kana wakes up from a dream after her grandmother dies, like, she's back in her car, and she's like, oh, that was all the dream. But, of course, it wasn't, because we see later that she's floating down the river, the grandmother, and I, I'm like, did the ghost, like, put her back in her car, so hoping she'd leave? Like, what? <laughs> I don't know, that was weird, but, um... Yeah, the first story, though, look, that was just gross. That was the grossest thing I've seen on this anime so far. Like, ugh, gosh. Ugh, I did, ugh, it's so gross to think about. I'm just like, you know what, I'm not gonna think about it. I'm gonna, ugh. ugh. But, um, anyway, so, the second story, though, that was, uh, pretty interesting, but, uh, I guess she's just gotta deal with her grandma going off with her River of the Dead Village now, so it's like, hey, your grandmother's gonna be... I don't know, never put to rest, just gonna float down that river for eternity, I guess, I mean, huh? <laughs> so, that episode was pretty interesting, the first story, let's just not discuss that one, because that's just disgusting, like, come on. <laughs> but anyway, overall, good episode, what'd you guys think of this episode, what do you think's gonna happen next, and I'll see you guys in whatever I review next, bye!